Although some of them are barely bigger than a jelly bean, electrolytic tilt sensors play a key role in a wide range of applications because of their reliability, high accuracy, and low cost. Even though they've been used for decades, many engineers are unfamiliar with their benefits. Here at the Fredericks Company, we've specialized in electrolytic tilt sensors for over 80 years, and though we've made tremendous strides in design and performance, the core technology actually hasn't changed much since the 1940s. The first electrolytic tilt sensors were made of glass and measured a single axis. They were known as banana levels because of their curved shape. Then, vertical pool levels were developed, with electrodes sticking up vertically to provide a dual axis measurement. This design also made the sensor easier to attach to a circuit board. Originally, everything was handmade with glass and precious metals, making the sensors very expensive. But in the early 2000s, Fredericks developed a new way of making the sensors in an effort to reduce cost, paving the way for our line of true tilt sensors that continue to set industry standards. So how does an electrolytic tilt sensor actually work? Well, they're a resistive fluid-based device, meaning that the sensor provides an output voltage that's proportional to the tilt angle of the sensor with reference to gravity. A typical tilt sensor has multiple electrodes, and the position is measured by the resistance of the fluid between them. The sensor is mounted onto a PCB, or printed circuit board, and the sensor output is connected to a high impedance op amp, which is connected to the microcontroller's internal ADC, or analog to digital converter. There are several other types of tilt sensors on the market, and they vary in price and accuracy. Starting with the lowest cost and lowest accuracy, mechanical ball bank and bubble devices are inexpensive, but they're relatively big in size and have low accuracy. MEMS tilt sensors are smaller and still relatively inexpensive, but they aren't very accurate or durable. Forced balance or servo sensors deliver high accuracy, but their large size and high cost make it impractical for most applications. Liquid capacitive tilt sensors offer high accuracy at a low cost, but again, their large size is restrictive. That leaves us with the high accuracy, low cost electrolytic tilt sensor. For applications that require a durable product that's small in size, electrolytic tilt sensors are the most reliable and the most cost effective. They're ideal for applications in RV leveling, construction vehicles, laser leveling, mobile satellite antenna positioning, and geotechnical and structural monitoring. So why use electrolytic tilt sensors? They provide the highest accuracy at the lowest cost, and they're designed to last for years in tough industrial environments. So if you're in the market for a tilt sensor, consider the exceptionally reliable and accurate electrolytic tilt sensors from the Fredericks Company. We offer custom solutions to meet your tilt measurement needs. Visit our website today for more information and be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.